Welcome to the fourth annual Santa Cruz Public Library's Teen Battle of the Bands. We're back for a fourth year. This whole thing started in as a just a, in, the, in Matt Lorenzo's brain four years ago, and we're still keeping it going. Our first band today is Bebop, who are without a doubt the most steadily rising force in the Santa Cruz jazz scene. Formed in September of 2011, a steady stream of local shows has caused this small jazz combo to possess a musical maturity well beyond their age. The band consists of Cameron Smith, 15 years old, one of the most motivated and mind-blowing guitarists you will ever meet. Lucas Hahn, a pianist who at age 12 already possesses musical ability beyond the range of even the most experienced players. Aaron Caceres, the oldest member of the band at age 18, who is undeniably one of the best self-taught bass players in the Bay Area music scene, and shows his very own unique electrifying bass playing and songwriting. Gray Zimmerman, bebop 17-year-old drummer who provides the band with a solid source of intense rhythmic momentum. This combo's blend of straight-ahead jazz, Latin jazz, slight elements of funk and R&B will leave you gaping at the ability and groove of such young musicians. This quartet takes standard and contemporary jazz to a whole new level of curiosity, creativity, and synchronicity. Please welcome Bebop. Good afternoon. We are the Bebop Band from Santa Cruz, California. This first song is... Well, I wrote it. I finished writing it last Tuesday. So this is our first time playing it live. So hope you enjoy it.
Thank you. We are really proud and honored to be on this stage. I would like to thank Victor and everybody else who put this event together. Really appreciate playing on this. Next song is called Giant Steps.
That was Night in Tunisia. Thank you all. We are, we're on Facebook. Go to Bebop. Uh, Facebook, however you get to the band pages. Yeah. And we were selling CDs right in the corner there with the wonderful Jackie Rocks as well. Hi guys, we're here at the Teen Battle of the Band's fourth annual here in front of the Santa Cruz Public Library Central Branch. And uh, I'm here with this very special person. Why don't you introduce yourself and let us know who you are and why we're here today. Uh, my name is Janice O'Driscoll and I'm manager of programs and partnerships and this is something we do for the teenagers every summer. Have hear great music at the end of the summer. Does this uh, event benefit anything? Uh, what's Other than giving these uh, brilliant young people a chance to perform, uh, what, what, what's the other purpose here? That's the main purpose. The main purpose is to show the teenagers that we care about what they're doing and what they're interested in and want to give them a form. Are you guys about ready? Um, it's certainly a fun one. There's, there's quite a few people out here. I'm sure their parents are ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> um, w w do they? I understand there's prizes and things that... that yes. All four bands are going to get studio time, various um, levels of studio time. We're getting a lot of support from the recording industry in Santa Cruz, which is very vibrant. Who are the, these people that are, are people donating studio time? Or, yes. or is it? They donate studio time as prizes for the bands. That's really cool because then, you know, they can, they, they can then have their CDs they can, they can sell. CD, right. Fantastic. And they plan, they can plan, um, lots of times they plan months at a time so they take good advantage of their studio time. What a great opportunity for these people. Yeah. Um, uh, so we're here at the Santa Cruz Public Library. This is an event hosted by the library. What other things are going on right now? Well, for families, next uh, weekend on Sunday in Harvey West Park from 1 to 4, we're going to have the Festival of the Book, and that's a family picnic in the park. We're going to have three dogs there that people can read to from our Tales to Tales program. We're going to have crafts. The friends are going to sell books. We're going to have Salsa Rueda, who's going to teach everybody how to dance. And we're just going to have a good time. Everybody who's been in the summer reading program will get a free lunch. Everybody else will just have to pay a little bit for their lunch, but it's all good. And benefits the friends and benefits youth services programs for the library. You named a lot of um, organizations and, um, I don't know, I guess things you guys are doing in that. Um, starting maybe perhaps with the, the, uh, the summer reading program, could you explain what that's about? Um, every summer for children, teens, and adults, we have special programs and special activities to encourage people to read over the summer. For children, we're trying to keep them on grade level. For older kids, we're trying to keep them involved with a library. And for adults, we're just trying to find activities and events that they would enjoy participating in. I understand there's a, there's a lot of uh, local organizations that help participate in that event. I know, if, for example, Atlanta's Fantasy World does something, uh, are there local businesses that like give discounts to kids who want to buy books and things yes. like that? Yes, there's a whole list of merchants, there's too many for me to name, they're listed in our, in our program, that honor the summer reading dollars that the kids earn, and they can go in and get discounts and actually sometimes buy with their dollars, buy things in the stores. We have a lot of support from the businesses with that. The friends of the library support us and they then support the library and um, I'm trying to think oh um, Taco Bell actually pays for all the programs and everything so we have every kind of business you can think of is is a supporter and participating but you guys really have it together <laughs> I <hope> so <laughs> we sure have a lot of fun that's for sure as long as you're having fun what, what other what other uh, events and programs can we uh, should be in, be informed about um, on August 3rd is a really big event for the whole community it's libraries inside out and in this building right over here right behind us we are going to put either three by four foot and in some cases ten by ten feet portraits of people who live in Santa Cruz on the outside of the building and we're going to paste them up there we're going to change out the 10 by 10s once a month so you'll see different people up there people will get to vote on who's 10 by 10 we put up and it's what it does is it reminds people that a library is not a building but it's the people who use the library the people who work in the library and the people who support the library so we're going to be part of first five on August 3rd, Friday night, and start in, in the afternoon, we're going to start pasting the posters up. There's also going to be portraits on the inside of the building, upstairs and downstairs. You mean first Friday, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Friday, yeah. That's, will people be able to come in here and also like? Well, I guess most first Friday events there's like there's wine and cheese and things like that. Will people be able to come out and hang out and dine a little bit too? 
Um, yes, uh, we'll have some nibbles and some food, but mostly we'll be working and pasting up those portraits so people can see them. Um, is, there, is there a theme related to it anyway, yes. other than...? Um, our theme is that it turns out that libraries have nothing at all to do with silence. So what we asked people to do was put a look on their face that either showed they were making a sound or screaming or commenting somehow on being vocal in the library and about libraries. In picture form, of course. <laughs> awesome. Um, we still have a, a little bit of time and you can take advantage of it. What else is going on? The other thing we're doing that uh, parents of teenagers might be interested in is that we're locking 25 teenagers in the Scotts Valley branch start, yeah, overnight. Um, uh, and it's a national event. And what is happening is all over the country, there's teenagers being locked in at various library branches, and then they're all going to be connected. Uh, live streaming and by Facebook and all kinds of social media and talk to each other all all around the country and they're going to spend the night in the branch. What's the, what, uh, other than having fun, having a cool sleepover, what's the, what's the point of that? It's um, just to connect with other teenagers and other places and show that libraries just aren't about putting books on a shelf. Make it fun. Yeah. All right. Far out. I'm, I'm really happy that you guys are doing cool things like this to make I don't know. Yeah. Library is interesting. A great community, a supportive community, and this is a way that we can give back and also have things to do that are fun and maybe unusual. Our next band is a Jackie Rocks band. Jackie Rocks is a young, no frills, hard hitting, and working class band comprised of 18 year old lead guitarist and vocalist Jacqueline Partita, 17 year old bassist vocalist DeAndre Warren. And 17-year-old drummer Gray Zimmerman, who you just saw with Bebop. The band's aggressive hard rock sound blends rock, pop, and metal, and punk. The group primarily performs original material penned by Jackie, with the occasional cover thrown in. They're comfortable in any environment, having performed over 400 shows at nightclubs such as The Whiskey, The Catalyst, and the Avalon, the music festivals, amusement parks, schools, and even a stadium, Candlestick Park. The band's sound experience and accomplishments led them to be named one of the top 10 high school bands in the country by National Record Day in 2010. The band continuously lends itself to charities and fundraisers for organizations such as Relay for Life, the American Red Cross, Walnut Avenue Women's Shelters, and a host of others. Please put your hands together for Jackie Rock's band. Precedent, and he sent you so far away. And now we're at peace today, cause you're definitely going away. No longer here today, it wasn't meant for you to stay. Pods about your broken heart, but you robbed you a new start.
here today, no longer 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 here today. What's up? How's everyone doing today? Just wanted to let you know we have some t-shirts on sale over there at the merch table. And um, be sure to check out our website, JackieRocks.com. I want to take a minute to introduce you to the band completely. This is DeAndre on bass. Hi, guys. And vocals. And this is Gray on drums. He just learned all of our songs in like the past three weeks. Woo! So give it up for him. All right, the song's called Again. Today's the day I saw you I don't know
more song for you guys. It's called Not Anymore. Thanks so much for watching us. Both lies stuck in my head And what was it you said? 
to be And I don't think that I can stand to be around you anymore So tell me, is this what you really want? Cause I just can't seem to believe it anymore so much. Be sure to check out our website, JackieRocks.com. And thanks so much to Santa Cruz Public Libraries for having us play here. I'm here with Bebop. These guys, ju not just performed, but performed before Jackie here, and we, got it, we missed them because they went to Jamba Juice. Anyway, I want to talk to them. Uh, tell us who you are. I just said it, but tell us who you are and why you're here today. I'm Aaron Caceres. I'm the bass player and songwriter for this group. Uh, we're here today to showcase our talent and the Santa Cruz music scene to everybody who wishes to come out here. It's a great event. Fantastic. Can you introduce us to the rest of your crew? This is Cameron Smith, our guitarist. He's amazing. This is Lucas Hahn, our youngest. He's 12 years old and he just, he rips. And, uh, yes, he did. This is, this is the multi-talented Gray Zerman, our drummer. <laughs> yes, and I understand that he uh, performs for Jackie as well. All right. Um, so tell us, I guess I can go around each, anyone, any one of you can answer this question. What is your inspiration musically? Like, do you have a favorite musician, band that, that has inspired you to do what you do? Well, I, for me, my pers personal, for personally, bass playing in general, um, Jaco Pastoris, he's the, the late Jaco Pastoris. He, he's inspired me greatly, his technique, and he's such an amazing stage performer. It's amazing. All right, good choice. You're the guitarist. You, I saw you playing beforehand, and you were just grooving out like crazy. It was fantastic to listen to you. Who, 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 who inspires you? Um, my uh, my favorite guitarist is probably Pat Martino. Um, he uh, I transcribed a lot of licks from him, and I really like his playing. Um, I want to go see him someday. How long have you been playing? Because, like, like I said, you were pretty freaking amazing out there. Um, I've been playing for six years, I think. Mm-hmm. Not bad, man. Not bad. All right, moving on to our keyboardist, who is also fantastic. You're 12? Yeah. God. You don't look it. You're taller than me, baby. That's it. Um, anyway, who, who, who's inspired you? Uh, well, there's this. Uh, well, there's so many good pianists, but the um, I think my favorite right now is Brad Meldo. He's just awesome. He's he's still alive, and he um, so they're like the. I think my three favorite would be Chick Corea, Brad Meldo, and Keith Jarrett, but um. I like, they're all really good, but I like his style the most because it's nice and modern, but it still has like swing and like older stuff and newer stuff, so it's like the best of both worlds, sort of. But it's really awesome. You guys are incredibly well versed, if that's the right word to use in the oh, case I of think. music. <laughs> I feel kind of ignorant, like, like who's that are you talking about? But no, that's fantastic, you guys are so into your music. Now you, you're the drummer, and you just performed with Jackie, yeah. so you get around a lot. Yeah. Um, are you in any other bands? I'm in, I think, seven bands. <laughs> okay. um, I play with a bluegrass band around here called Blackwoods Drifters. Um, I play with another jazz combo called Barney and the Dinosaurs. Um, I play with a <laughs> I play with a few uh, untitled projects that are jazz and funk, and uh, I also have a couple rock bands and a black metal band. My goodness. Okay, so you're 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 getting all over the place, all genres. Yeah. All bands. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so who who inspired? I asked everyone else this. Who, who's inspired you? Well, of course you got to listen to like Elvin Jones and Tony Williams and all the old school people. But uh, a lot of the newer stuff, like a lot of the newer drummers, really take self-expression to a new no new level. So uh, that's really what I'm trying to do is express my like, I guess, inner emotions on the drum set, if that makes any sense. No, totally. Okay, but uh, I could see you grooving out there. You were getting into it. <laughs> you know, your heart was in it. <laughs> Thanks. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of, and like newer guys like David Garibaldi, Staler. All right, fantastic. Do you guys are you, do you guys perform anywhere or just events like this? You got some. We play all around here. We, we play Hoffman's Restaurant down on Pacific Avenue every other Sunday. That's a great place. A lot of people turn out there. This Sunday. Then. This Sunday. This Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday and at Hoffman's. Hoffman's Restaurant. And every Thursday we play down at the Santa Street Grill, and that's been a treat for us. Any special events coming up for you guys? We're playing a wedding reception right after <laughs> this event. So we have to hustle down there at 4.15. Well, it's good you guys got yourselves all warmed up for their wedding. I'm sure they're going to appreciate that. Yeah, it's a private party. <laughs> it's a private party. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you guys very much for taking the time to talk with us. If there's anything else you want to say, you're on television. Hi, um, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> How about everyone just say, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. 
Well, so enthusiastic, you must love your mothers. Spilly, can I be seen by anybody? <laughs> all right, hidden behind uh, yeah, all the so equipment over here. Is it actually working? Are we actually live out there at home? Are you watching? I, I'm, I'm told. They might just be pulling a practical joke on I me. I wouldn't be a bit surprised knowing community TV, right? Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, you know, we do what we can with what we got. Love Band-Aids will keep anything from bleeding. <laughs> all right, tell us, tell us why you're here today. Hey, well, I'm a judge for this wonderful event, this Teen Battle of the Bands, and I couldn't be more excited to be here, man. This has been a great afternoon so far. It's been fantastic. I've been enjoying the music. The sun is great. It's a little hot for me. It's hot out there, and those poor camera people are baking out there in the parking lot, so i got to give extra kudos to all the camera people today for doing this for you guys. Well, community TV is the best, isn't it? They have the best volunteers, that's for sure. Cool, cool. So, yeah, we're halfway through, and it's going to be tough to pick a winner. That first band, Bebop, was amazing, and, of course, Jackie Rocks is a Santa Cruz tradition here, and uh, always been one of my favorites, so uh, it's going to be a tough call, man, tough call today. Well, we have a couple more to see. Were you looking forward to any particular performance today? Well, you know, until I got here, I didn't even know who was playing, and so it's uh, wide open for me, and uh, uh, there's... Two more bands coming up, and I'm really excited to hear how they sound. All right, all right. We still have some time to kill. They're taking their time. Um, y you volunteer, produce any well a dozen other things at community television. Is there anything you want to talk about, promote music-wise? I guess. Well, you know, we just did our uh, bluegrass uh, Brookdale. It's actually called the Boulder Creek Bluegrass Festival last weekend, with uh, pretty much this wonderful setup that Community TV has to go out on doing shows and had some incredible bands and we're looking forward to getting that on uh, TV as soon as possible. The bluegrass thing's really taking off. You know, a year ago people were laughing at it and now it's one of our uh, more popular shows and so we're really excited about the bluegrass thing and Star Makers right now is in its uh, semi-finals and we had more talent this year than we've had in a uh, long time. And uh, tell, tell us what Star Makers is. Well, Star Makers is our local talent competition that we go around to different nightclubs and film people singing and then our judges pick the top four from each venue who came to the TV station and did a big semi-finals which is airing right now Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock and what's happening with that is we had the top 10 come down to the station and they're doing that this is being aired in two parts and the first part just started airing folks at home can actually call in this year and vote for their favorites we're going to have the second part uh starting in a couple of weeks and then we're going to pick out the winners and you know this just last tuesday and you'll get a kick out of this on our show we ended up with 33 uh phone calls which for our shows pretty amazing we normally get four or five calls so uh we're really proud of the the uh turnout for the people voting and that's like at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday night people were watching so I was tickled pink that that, came through. that, that would that would tickle me something too my goodness yeah, nobody makes... calls into community television how do yeah. you promote that stuff well you know we did it between each singer and we got our new uh, show number 831-854 show for the Sandra Lee hotline and <laughs> and so they people started calling in and yeah I was I got up Wednesday mo or uh, yeah Wednesday morning and saw that there was non-stop calls there and I was just wondering how many people got the business signal but if there was that much in that half hour time but uh, I just had the mayor Sandra Cruz on the issue show. Uh, we've got a new homeless advocacy panel show coming up in the next couple weeks that's going to really rock some socks. Uh, very, very hot topics about uh, disabled homeless people and the care they're getting here in Santa Cruz. And I had a chance to be the uh, moderator on that panel and oh, just fascinating stuff. And to, to get the mayor involved and uh, people from the county and just uh, really, really great, great stuff. And, and the community TV is just rocking like nobody's business and uh, looking forward to the next couple years and uh, watching how we grow and, and merge into this new system that we're having. But, uh, yeah, it's just been really wonderful for me. And, you know, the people at home that are watching this, you guys are all the greatest. I, I'm, I'm serious, Ryan. I can't go anywhere in town with somebody saying, hey, aren't you that guy from TV? And I'm just so honored and blessed with that privilege to be able to, yeah, that's me, you know, and they, and thankfully people like what we're doing because I couldn't imagine if they hated it, but I'm sure there's a few that do, you know, for everyone that likes you, somebody hates you, but anyway, uh, we're really blessed with the great, great response for game for what we're doing out there, and I, I thank all the viewers for that.
Well, I'm sure that community television and the community appreciates you as well. You're, you're, out, you're, you're out there a lot. Um, not only at events like this, which is really fantastic, but you know, you're, you're helping these 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 young musicians, these young artists, you know, get themselves out there. It's really difficult, you know, it's, it, and if, if for no other reason, you, you give them confidence, I think, and that's really valuable. Well, not only did they get a chance to play and perform on TV, which is a big thrill in itself, but these people are now can take their product and put it on YouTube and actually market themselves, so it's really turning into a win-win situation, and because of that, we're just getting better and better bands every time, you know, the music show, we're booked through the end of the year now with incredible people, and uh, just had a great uh, teen band on uh, called Surface. Uh, they were a mix between Yes and Peter Tosh. And it was just this fabulous, fabulous band. And, um, uh, you know, I'm tickled pink, you know, to be able to, to do that for the community. And, uh, and the, the bands are just incredible. And what a, what a wonderful pool of talent we have here in Santa Cruz. Isn't it amazing? Absolutely. Santa Cruz is amazing in general, and you're part of it. If you like funk, rock and roll, hip-hop, blues, and R&B, then you might just like the melting pot of genres, which is the Mondays. Becoming friends through Pajaro Valley High School's jazz and rock program, the Mondays have been playing together for two years, playing mainly original music. The band is constantly coming up with new material and trying to better their unique sound. They've played all around their hometown Watsonville and throughout the county. The band consists of Miguel Soriano on the bass, Gabe Robledos on the sixth string and lead vocals, Yvonne Flores on the keys, and his twin brother Jesse on the kit. The band is currently working on their garage recorded demo, which should have six different tracks and constantly update their YouTube page, youtube.com, The Mondays TV. Please put it together for The Mondays. What's up? How we doing, Santa Cruz? <laughs> How we doing, Santa Cruz? Woo! Yeah. We're the Mondays, and we're gonna try to play some music for you. How about that? Miguel's gonna start us off on the bass. Ready, guys? <laughs> an issue. Ain't no better match than you and me and that's a fact. So why'd you have to, why'd you have to, girl, 
Stop pretending, girl, you know you want me with you Why's it gotta be such an issue? Ain't no better match than you and me and that's a fact So why'd you have to turn your back? Don't turn your back Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are the Mondays from Watsonville, California. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah. This next song... This next song is a song about a girl. I wrote it about a year ago. It's entitled Elizabeth, and it's about a girl named Sophia. Thank you, thank you very much. There are t-shirts on sale that say the Mondays on them and have huh? the, the, a suitcase because we're, we're a case of the Mondays if you get that reference or that joke. No, quiet, no? Woo! Woo! Thank you, this is gentleman over here. 
Well, we're going to play another song for you. This one's kind of a little bit more depressing. So yeah, check out the t-shirts. <laughs> so we're the Mondays. Uh, this is Miguel Soriano over here. Slapping the bass, ladies and gentlemen. Give a warm hand for her. We got like Jesse Flores over here on playing the fun buckets. That's what I like to call them. We got Ivan tickling the keys. 
And I'm Gabriel Bledo. We've loved you. Uh, this, I want to thank everybody that put this whole event together. Judges, thank you for smiling during the, the parts where it all. But thank you. All right. This is our last song. This one is called Please, but we like to call it Prees. Never change, it only changes. It's us on earth that let it die. So why is it time seems to change us? I ask myself why. Beauty's got a sense of being human. Humans got a sense of being alive. Humans clear my lungs among pollution. So I sing a lullaby. What you love is what you love, you can't hide it. Blank interpretation of the world, and I put in that music as my baby girl, and I'm like. Love John Lennon quote, true words that John Lennon wrote. Love surrounds me moat. Family and friends that keep me afloat, but I love music, my mind is sad to do. What you love is what you love, you can't hide it. Blank interpretations of the world, and I pretend that music is my baby girl, and I'm like,
should be. Please save me to sleep so I can dream of how this world should be. Please save me to sleep so I can dream of how this world should be. sing with me the lyrics go like this it goes it goes like this please sing me to sleep so I can dream of how this world can be can we play it together please sing me to sleep so I can dream of how this world can be a little bit louder ladies and gentlemen please please sing me to sleep so I can dream of how this world should be louder ladies and gentlemen we got to keep going please Save me to sleep so I can dream of how this world should be. I like that. I think that's good. Let's sing it again. Please sing me to sleep so I can dream of how this world should be. I said, please. Dream of how this world should be. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We are the Mondays. Look us up, the Mondays TV, all together on YouTube. We just listened to the Mondays. They're tearing down their set. Prior to that, we were listening to Jackie Rocks. Hi, Jackie, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing just fine, thank you very much. It's a little hot out. Yeah. Um, other than that, we're good. I noticed you guys are hanging out in the shade. Uh, what are you doing over there? Uh, we're just hanging out at our merch table. Merch table, that's what I was kind of getting at. You're yeah. selling stuff. Yeah. Is there other places, like, okay, these people are watching it on television. Do you have, like, a website or something people can go to to buy your stuff? Yeah, just go to JackieRocks.com, and then you'll you'll find, like, our links to Facebook and, and Twitter and MySpace and YouTube, all those. You, you mentioned YouTube, so you got you got videos on there. Where, where are those, where, who've made those videos? Well... We've been on community television a few times, and um, the Battle of the Vans. So, yeah, thanks to the Santa Cruz Public Library for having us play here today. It's been a great day. All right, let's talk about your music. Um, you guys obviously were fantastic. You have a lot of energy, like throwing that bass behind. That was kind of cool. Um, but anyway, and you guys are all grooving out. Um, let me just ask, like, first of all, how long have you guys been together? I know you have like quite a few different people you play with. I've seen you. Uh, yeah. Well, DeAndre and I have been in the band the whole time, the full six years, six and a half now. Uh, Gray just joined up with us about three weeks ago. He learned like 13 songs in five days or something like that. So and it's been gone for two weeks. Yeah, and <laughs> you, you can tell. Yeah, that. And then I had to leave for two weeks, so they had to practice by themselves for <laughs> two weeks while I was off at camps. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that was fun. Um, <laughs> but you guys, you know, you guys know what you're doing, right? Yeah. You guys have been doing it for how long? Well, let's, let me go around. How long have you been performing? I've been performing since I was about three years old, singing. And then I started playing guitar right before I started the band, which was like about seven years ago. So. You've been playing guitar for seven years. Um, I noticed your guitar and asked your dad about it. Um, wh where did you get that? Um, I got it for free from Daisy Rock Guitars. They're my sponsor. So, um, yeah. How did you work that out? Uh, I just shot them an email and sh and basically told them everything I've done up until two years ago, and um, they wanted to sponsor me. So, how long have you been playing? Um, I've been playing bass for as long as I've been I've known Jackie uh, in the band, so about seven years. Um, but I've been performing like with um, on orchestral instruments like saxophone and trombone since sixth grade, so not also seven years. So. How old are you guys? I'm 18. I'm 17. All right, so you've been playing half your lives. You're 17? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, fantastic. So, so you've been playing bass, and what else have you... I'm sorry. So I play bass, uh, bass, trombone, saxophone, piano, and I sing in choir as well. So this is choir. Do you do this? Is that high school? You, is there a local choir you're part of? Um, in high school, I was part of uh, SoCal's Jazz Singers. Um, that's where I got most of my singing experience. 
So, um, but outside of that, I just do like camps uh, for vocal groups, and that's about it. Do you guys play for any other bands other than Jackie Rocks? Um. Well, I play in my indie band too that just started a couple months ago. <laughs> yeah, and um, which is called Dressed in Roses. It's like an indie pop band. It's got my little sister on keyboard, and she's only 12, and um, and my friend Sophie is on bass and vocals. So, how about how about you? What else are you doing? Um, I play a lot of uh, classical music with um, like orchestras, uh, mainly at camps, like I said. But I play jazz. Uh, I've sat in on be- bebop on trombone once or twice. And uh, when I move out to Chicago, I'm going to be playing part of the University of Chicago's uh, Orchestra Symphony. So, my goodness, you guys are getting around. That's fantastic. What if, if you had to like name your favorite venue or experience so far? What would it be? I'd say probably when we played the Whiskey in L.A. last summer. It was actually exactly a year ago. So, so wait, you guys? Do you guys tour? Like, you get around? Uh, we just play around the Bay Area and sometimes L.A. Like, we're going to be in L.A. again at this place called Amplify um, on Melrose, which is on September 1st. Go back to that last experience you were talking about. Why was it so fantastic? It was really fun. It was a great experience. You know, the Whiskey is a very historical place. Uh, I mean, everybody's played there. <laughs> That's anybody. So, um, and we had a great experience with the sound guy, too. He knew what he was doing. And... and it was just, we, we drew a good crowd too. So it was just really fun to be able to do that in LA. It sounds like a lot of fun. Going down to LA is a lot of fun. Um, w- we, anything we coming up that you guys want to promote? Um, well, we're going to be playing Hot Rods for Kids, which is Hi. going to be in Watsonville. What, what, what is that? It's a big event where they have a bunch of hot rod vehicles out laid out on the field, like at the. Um, the county fairgrounds and so and they have bands play every year we played last year and we're gonna play this year again and that'll be on um, Saturday August 18th and isn't all the pro- aren't all the proceeds uh, donated to um, children hosp- children's hospitals so I've been watching you for at least the last three years oh, wow. and I guess you you've grown <laughs> I remember I don't know I mean I remember you being a little short thing but I, it could be me <laughs> I uh, lost a little bit of weight and got taller, so. Well, good for you, man. You're growing up. It's cool to see all you guys growing up. Um, I talked to you earlier, but, you know, just so I'm not totally neglecting you, is there anything else you'd like to say while you're on television? Uh, not really. <laughs> well, that's really, really interesting. Thank you for helping me fill time here. I got a lot more to do, and you really contributed to that. Um, but anyway, how about anybody else? Is there anything else going on in your lives, not just musically, but whatever, that you guys are really excited to talk about? Well, there is one thing. Um, I'm going to be featured as a guitarist as part of the Hidden World of Girls for the opening nights of the Cabrillo Music Festival. So that'll be next weekend. I'm really excited about that. Cabrillo Music Festival is a great festival, too. You guys should look it up. Um, I don't know. There's just events going on all over the county. Um, Tell us more about this particular one. Um, Well, I'm going to be working with a four-time Emmy winner um, named Laura Cartman. And um, she wrote my guitar part for me and everything. And so... um, I'll be getting to be a guitar player in an orchestra, and it's going to be all females. So it's it's part of this whole hidden world of girls, girls sharing their stories from around the world, and so um, and it all has to do with music too. And so, that's I would be excited. That sounds really fun. I'm going to make sure I go see it. And so should you guys. Remind us one more time when, wh- where that is and when it is. That'll be Saturday night and Sunday. Uh, this, this coming. This coming Saturday night and Sunday um, at the Civic Auditorium. All right, this is uh, our MC for the evening, afternoon, whatever time it is. It's sunny out, so I guess it's Middle, the day. Mid-afternoon? Mid-afternoon, yeah, mid-afternoon. I'll go with that. All right, so tell us who you are, what you do, what you're doing here today. I'm Victor Willis, and uh, Sandy put the event together this year, but I did it last year, and then the, f- and the first two years, Matt Lorenzo did it, and he trained me in how to do this. Uh, just putting together sponsors and the kids and... The Be In Your Own Band program, which Jeremy's representing, they got involved and um, just trying to do something to promote uh, summer reading and something other than reading, associating the library, which is not just a quiet place. No, it's not. Roll. Yes. Absolutely. Tell us about, Jeremy's not here to talk about it. Tell us about the, the what did you say, Be In Your Own Band? He, they got a Be In Your Own Band project with Robin Maycomber and Jeremy 
uh, is here representing him. He's got his own, you know, he's a sound engineer in his own right. But uh, he's here for Robin. And the Be In Your Own Band program uh, is in like schools and parks and rec. And they teach kids how to be in a rock band with their friends. And a lot of the people the last few years are graduates of Be In Your Own Band. I don't know if these guys are, any of these bands are, but some of the bands the last few years actually were put together by that program. I know Rapid Fire was that won the first year's winner. I remember Rapid Fire. And um, it's just great to be able to, to do this. I hope this continues next year. Uh, outside of, of this event and, uh, and music, what, what do you do here? You work for the library, right? I work out at the Branch, the 40 Branch. And last year I worked in the programming team. Yeah, and the programming team's putting together a lot of great things. We've got the uh, Festival of the Book next Sunday at Harvey West Park. They got a teen sleepover at Scotts Valley that you can look on the library's website. They're, I heard about that. Yeah, they're going to go talk to talk to authors and stay up all night. That sounds like a really fun sleepover. I was what I was getting at is like, I was, I wanted to call you a librarian and then ask you why are there books? I don't know if you guys can see this, but the stage is being held up by I believe library books. What it what? is? Those are not library books. Those are discarded donations. Oh, okay, as long as they're discarded donations, it's okay. Yeah, so they're going to be given away when they're done today. <laughs> um. <laughs> so stick around after the show and get a free book that has been holding up these excellent musicians. It, it's, they're just the right size. It, this, uh, this parking lot looks level, but in fact is not level. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just found that amusing. I'm sorry to yeah, pick no, on you about no, that. No, it is. I'm, I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> do, do, do. Killing time. Okay, so let everybody know who you are, why you're here today. Okay, I'm Cheryl Rebitaro, and I'm here to judge the teen battle of the bands. Have you done this before? No, I have not done this before. This is my first time. What, what, what exactly like, makes you qualify to be a judge? I'm not exactly sure. I think I knew somebody. <laughs> Did somebody call you or did you volunteer? No, somebody called me, uh, Teresa Landers, and um, I'm in uh, bands. I'm a lead singer in, well, one band at this time, but over the years it's been a few different bands in Santa Cruz, local bands. Who are you then? Who am I? Oh, my band is Back to Nowhere, and so you should um, listen to us. So where can we do that, and how can we find you? Oh, gosh. Okay, so next Friday we're going to be at Malone's, 5.30 to 9. We're going to be at Britannia Arms next month. We played at the Crow's Nest last night, and we just get around a little bit. Sounds like you're having fun. Yeah. Cool. Um, tell us about, well, we've heard a lot of people talk about this event. What, what exactly makes this, I don't know, what's important to you? Oh, I just think it's really amazing that these, these um, I don't want to call them kids because they're kind of young adults, teenagers. I mean, they're so incredibly talented. It's unbelievable. So I just think it's really great that this is being encouraged in Santa Cruz and celebrated. And how cool. I mean, they're great. Smith Alley, all the way from Hollister today. An alternative rock band from Hollister. The band came together in 2011 and enjoys expressing themselves through their music and lyrics. Josiah Bear, 16, and David O'Carrig, 18, are on the vocals. Alex Sanchez, age 18, and Omar Hue, age 20, on guitar. Is that how you say it, Hue? I got it? Corey Coda, age 17, on bass, and Ryan Loomis, age 17, on drums. They recently recorded an EP, and they plan to record a full-length album. And they will be playing at some venues near you. You can reach them at Smith Alley on Facebook or on Reverb Nation under Hollister Bands. I give you today to conclude the show, Smith Alley. Thank you.
that you're living in a world that's based on lies Open up your eyes so you can see Open up your mind to be Thank you all for coming out here. And we are Smith Alley. Hope you enjoy this. This is near a heartbreak. This is near a heartbreak and fear.
Wow, it's hot out here. <laughs> I, I was gonna almost bring a jacket, and I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Hi. This next song we're gonna be singing is called Endless Thoughts. Right now we have a second vocalist. His name is David O'Carrick. Yeah. yeah, and uh, we'd like to thank all the other bands for coming out. You guys all did great, so Woo! thank you for helping us have a have a pretty good show. <laughs> Everybody's coming, everybody's gonna stop Everybody's thinking anybody's gonna drop My mind just a mess, just a bunch of endless thoughts And I'm waiting for the day when it's all gonna pop Why'd you have to leave? Why'd you have to go? No. Why'd you leave me down here by myself all alone? Now I think about it and I just don't know that I'm waiting for the day when you'll just come home. Where is it? Around in my head, in my head, who would have known that you're better off, you're better off dead. You get to leave this broken world behind. I just wish you would have took the time to say goodbye because think about it, and my heart just drops. Try to move, but my body just stops, just stops. One thing, because I almost forgot. Uncle B, I salute you and hope you're on top. Wow. 
looked at what she thought was love So she climbed up, so she rose up So she climbed up to what she thought was love Black me, black me, I'm a love now Move it up, I found my home now Touch it, twist it, be it for ya Happy people who love you know for coming out. Uh, we are Smith Alley again. Um, this last song we're going to be doing is called Zombies. Kind of Halloween-ish, so getting you ready for the holidays. Which is kind of far away, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much for letting us be here. It's an honor. We are Smith Alley. You can find us on Facebook, Reverb Nation, YouTube, you name it, even SoundCloud. And uh, see you next year. <laughs> Thank you. So right now we have the Mondays, or at least a couple of you. Tell us who you are. Two of, of how many are you? Of four. I am Gabriel Bledo, and this is Ivan Flores. Nice to meet you, Gabe and Ivan. Um, <clears throat> uh, tell us about, uh, well, first off, you guys were fantastic out there. Thank you. you really, like, got the audience working or at least you tried to right. you know they were I mean, they were into you but I think they were just a little shy yeah, you know, yeah. it happens, it happens. Um, very tough I'll try to go to less tough. shy crowds maybe you know <laughs> I, don't, I don't know um, speaking of which do you guys have anything coming up you guys want to promote what else are you doing How about that uh, pinup productions is gonna have a uh, battle of the bands we're gonna be at that on August 4th so look up pinup productions oh, August before 4th, the mic goes battle away I want to thank be sick can Penny. we find you guys okay, anywhere else? Right. Yeah, it has to be youtube.com slash the Mondays TV. So you put it in and you put the Mondays TV really on the cool. search bar. It has to be all together and you will find a bunch of our videos. All right. Uh, we're, I know, I, I've seen you before. You were very familiar. You've been at community television before, right? Yes. Okay. When was that? Like, what show was that? That was TV 101. TV 101? Oh my God, I was there for that. Yeah, In fact, I yeah. recognize you. Yeah. All right, cool. You guys were fantastic on that. Is that, one of, is that video online? Can we see that? That's online. That's on our website. We put that up. Fantastic. Who else is shooting your stuff? Uh, we have uh, my friend my friend Lupita Sanchez filmed a lot of our stuff. Uh, we did a garage session, so we just filmed a bunch of stuff of us playing in the garage. Those are the best. Those are fun because you guys are like, you're learning and you're arguing and all that yeah. kind of fun stuff. Yeah, it's always interesting. videos. You videos. <laughs> oh, this guy, huh? Okay. He has opinions. That's good. <laughs> all right. Cool beans. Um, what was I asking the other folks? I'm so, it's getting hot and I'm kind of tired. I apologize. You know, uh, t tell us about you know like how enthusiastic you are about this particular event. Why this is cool? The Battle of the Bands. It's super cool because uh, all the local Santa Cruz band, like just local Santa Cruz bands, are here, especially for teens. We're not really, um, we're almost not teens anymore. But it's super cool that we got to come out and play, and it's it's just a really good. Uh, opportunity for local bands to come in and play it. I think that's awesome. I think anything with music is awesome, right? Yes, absolutely. Everything with music is awesome. Now, you have opinions, and I haven't heard your voice yet. I'm going to walk over here for you. You don't have to move. Um, tell us, he's already introduced, but tell us who you are. What, what, what instrument do you play? Uh, I'm Ivan Flores, and I play the piano or keyboard. <laughs> Either one's fine. Okay. What, who, 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 tell us who your inspiration was. Why do you play piano? Um, it all started kind of in middle school, and when I met these guys in high school, it just drove me to play piano more and more because in order to be in the band, I had to be better than what I was. So I always strive to stick with them and, you know, just have a good time and all that. What school did you guys go to? Uh, Pocaro Valley High School. Oh, uh, fantastic. Watsonville. Oh, yes, we know where it is. Um, uh, Oh, what was I getting at? Do you guys play any other instruments other than, well, you specifically, do you play anything other than piano? Um, no, I mean, I doodle and stuff on guitar and drums, but not, not really, no, nothing really. Speaking of doodling, do you guys do anything other than music? Do you speak? Oh, I doodle. I'm an art major, so. Oh, fantastic. That's what I do. Art major, where are you going? UCSC. Oh, yeah, UCSC, woo! All right, fantastic. And he's Cabrillo. Cabrillo's fantastic, yes, okay. So you're majoring in art, what are you majoring in? Mm. Music, <laughs> just piano. Music. What, what are your guys' goals? I mean, after you graduate, what do you want to do? Whoever, whoever talks. Um, me, I'm hoping to become a piano teacher at some point. You know, something that I could work from home and also give back to the community and help kids, you know, learn piano and, you know, help them move on. That's a very specific goal. That's pretty cool, actually. Very cool. So, so, like, open up your own business, go teach for high school. What's uh, that? For whatever, as long as there's, you know, people to teach and opportunities for me to grow as well. You thought about doing that part time now? Pay for school? Um, not quite yet. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite ready for it. That's why I'm going to school for it. That's fair. What about you? What are you gonna do? I'm hoping to draw comics. Be a comic, yeah, a comic artist. That's my goal. What's your favorite comic book? X Men. 
X Men. Okay. So that's, that's, no, that's that's totally fair. All right, guys. This is, uh, He's going to interrupt our audio uh, signal, so I'm going to say, we have some "Toodles, man." Thank judges. you very much for yeah, talking with us. You guys were fantastic. Thank you. All right, cool. So I'm here with Smith Alley. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, cool. So you guys are one, two, three, four, five, six performers. Um, tell us a little bit about yourselves. What, what, why are you guys here? Obviously for the the show, but I mean, like, I don't know. How long have you guys been playing? Something like that. It's a long day. Sorry. We've been playing for maybe four, five four or five months, five months. and uh, we support the music. That's why we're here, and uh, hope you guys all enjoyed it. Oh, yes, we absolutely did. You guys got first place, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> what does that mean? It means a lot. I feel awesome. I feel powerful. Woo. Other than how you feel, what, I mean, what, you guys got a prize or something, right? Yeah, uh, we got uh, recording time at Gadget Studios. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I don't know where they are, but I, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to love them. we're pointing off to the distance because we think they're that way. They, they were that way. Um, guys who were over there somewhere. Yes. Um, I, I, uh, so that means you guys are you guys are cutting a CD, right? So you guys are going to be able to sell that or show it out yeah, somewhere. We're actually, we're actually have been working on our first album for a while, and are trying to get a good like maybe ten to twelve songs down on it. So we're th th this should help us get there. You know, we're we're working on it. When it's done, where can we find it? Who wants to say? Um, Facebook. Anywhere on Facebook, Reverb Nation. Just look up Smith Alley. You will find us very easy. Easily, or like any shows that we are having, you'll be able to find us. Um, why don't you give us a little plug? What's coming up? What's coming up? We actually have a um, a big show August fifth in uh, Hollister. That's uh, our hometown, at a uh, Veterans Memorial Hall. August fifth, we're having a huge show with about five, six bands, six bands I believe that we're actually hosting, and we just we just hope the word gets out and a lot of people come. And yeah, it's uh, seven dollars to get in at the door. Somebody says prices or prizes. Prices. There's pre-sale tickets. You can find um, us and email us. Pre-sale tickets are five dollars, and you get a prize as well. There'll also be a raffle. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right. It sounds like a lot of fun. And this is in Hollister, you said? Yeah. In Hollister. All right. Fantastic. So some of the folks here will drive over there, I'm sure. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna ask each of you who you are and what you play and what's inspired you. Starting with this gentleman. Who are you and what do you do? I'm Ryan. I play drums. And I don't know. So why do you play drums? Who who's inspired you to play drums? Uh, rock band. <laughs> rock band? Yes. The video game? Yes, I swear. Okay, I'm pretty good at that too, although you were, I think, a little bit better out there than I am. It's a good start. Oh, good. Good. I feel confident now. Um, anyway, so you were out there singing earlier. Do you do anything else? Uh, I'm actually the lyricist for the band. I come up with the majority of the lyrics for them, and I'm occasionally uh, vocals in a few songs. Fantastic. So you're the artist behind this. You're the inspiration for everyone here. I like to think just I'm the, the deep lyrics. thought just person. The yeah, just the lyrics. These guys come up with all the awesome music that you hear. And they certainly perform it well. Moving down the line. Who are you and what do you do? Um, I'm Josiah Bear, and uh, I'm the vocalist, the lead vocalist for Smith Alley, and I play a really good air guitar. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you pretty good at rock band, too? Ah, uh, you know, I'm not much of a game person. I, I wish I was. But. Okay, bad question. Bad question, then. I figured it might be a theme. I was wrong. Um, so who's inspired you? Um, I want to say System of the Down, Serge Tankion, uh, Fleming and John. Yeah. I don't I know if anyone knows who that is. <laughs> a few of us, I'm sure. I forgot to ask you that question. Who's inspired you? What, what makes you a lyricist? Is that the right pronunciation uh what makes me a lyricist um i don't know a lot of artists i similar with system of a down um eminem tupac just guys that are just great lyricists Ooh. that i really love have inspired me to to write fantastic and you're fantastic <laughs> cool beans i'm gonna go down the line again who are you what do you do and what's with the shirt uh, i'm omar i i play guitar i suck at rock band like completely suck <laughs> the i i really liked um these guys play. I love their performance, so I went ahead and bought their shirt to support them up there. Uh, good, good for you. I thought it might have been something else. In, in a high school, there was this opposing club called the Purple Pants Party, and, and to spite them, I'd walk around wearing purple pants. I thought you might be trying to say no, something no. here. No, all love. All love right here. Yeah. Fantastic. Very, very cool. Who inspires you? Um, actually, it's, it's... Oh, of course, Jackie. Yeah. It, it's actually who didn't inspire me. because My parents thought I would quit. Real easy, so I learned despite them. Okay, give us a downer story. That's cool. Um, but no, you know, parents can inspire us in different ways. That's that's fantastic. It's good for you to overcome that. Yes. Good, and you guys are fantastic. Thank you. All right, two more. You guys look like the shy ones. I don't know. <laughs> um, so who are you? What did you play? I'm Corey, and I play bass guitar. And who inspires you? Um, my parents for 
Positive reasons? Positive, positive reasons, okay. yeah. They, they always encourage me and they, they kind of always believe in me. It's kind of awesome. Fantastic. Very cool. Okay, to the parents out there. Finally, who are you? What do you do? I am Alex Sanchez. I play the lead guitar. And what inspires me is rivalry. So not really a depressing one, but more of like a, I will be. So wait, rivalry is, and there's like, is that a band or is that, is there, is, are there individuals out there who are you, you are rivals with? Uh, rivals like other school bands be like, like back in like school times, it's like, you know what, yo, good luck, but like, I'm going to beat you. And we always, <laughs> always like do that to each other, like and that, but we say like. That to each other every practice, we are rivals. We. <laughs> We hate each other. So wait, you guys go to different schools? Is that what I'm hearing? I think I'm the only well, I think we're kind of out of school. Uh, actually, actually summer. we are in college. Our lovely singer here and our lovely drummer are still in school, though. All right. Well, so, well, you're all in school if you're going to college. I mean, that counts. Yeah, you're a freshman now. <laughs> yeah, I'm back to a freshman. I was just going to say fresh meat and you cut me to it. I guess I wasn't thinking very creatively. All right, guys, you have anything else you want to say while you're on television? We, we should say something all together like Smith Alley Rocks. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Wait, no, no, no. I, I have something to, to say. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, I have something to say. I am a banana. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that was a bet. I don't know. Did you win? Inside joke. Everyone who's ever watched that on TV will understand. They'll understand what he just said. If they if they ever watch that little clip. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, good for you, man. Standing up for what you believe in or whatever that was. Okay, so you guys want to say something all, all together? Oh, no, is that too corny? No, yeah, that's way too corny. Isn't, isn't oh, a bit corny? Just, just say like one, two, three, Smith Alley. Right. Wait, do we look at the camera? One, two, three, Smith Alley. All right, cool guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tell me when. No, no, we have to make sure you get Ryan. Just one second. Boop, 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 boop. Now I can get away from it.